So recently on my keyboard cleaning live stream, which is something that I do sometimes, like just general live streams doing tech stuff. So subscribe if you like the sound of that. But I was doing that live stream and I had a few, you know, requests to talk about my specific own custom mechanical keyboard, like my own daily driver. And I figured to really do it justice, I'll give it a full on proper video talking about everything that went on in the making of it, in the parts choosing of it, in the shopping of it, and in the last two years, which I have been using it. So uh, meet Wilbur. My keyboard for the last two years, and the reason it's been there for the last two years, nothing has dethroned it, is because of A, sentimental value, and B, uh, absolute beauty, I guess. It's, it's, it's just gorgeous. I mean, if you just look at that, look at the details, look at the keycaps, you look at the, the build quality of it, it's whew, thick, solid, like three millimeter aluminum, uh, anodized aluminum. Everything of it just screams an awesome thing to have on my table. So let's talk about the parts, I guess. Let's just start with the parts. So the keycaps right here is something called the, I think it's called the canvas. XDA or DSA keycaps and essentially DSA is like SA keycaps where SA keycaps are really indented I think DSA keycaps are keycaps that are slightly less indented so the bump in them over here the dent right here is actually way less than an SA keycap and I find that SA keycaps are a bit too deep to be really comfortable they look great that's for sure they look like typewriter keycaps and all that stuff but to me DSA is a bit more of a balance between GMK which is kind of your standard style I think, I think it's called GMK your standard style and this uh, and the SA keycap set now this to me looks way better than the, a lot of keycaps out there I love the font I love the center placement of the font I love the size of the font I love the aesthetic it's got a clean almost Mac Apple style aesthetic and that's why I like it so much I mean just just look at that everything is so clean it's so neat and the reason I chose this is not just that it was a good price I bought it secondhand I can tell you I can give you like a specific link of where to buy it but the reason I bought it is not just that it was a good price but it was also a it was also just perfect because this this uh, keyboard case right here is you know this aluminium fiberglass thing that is just gorgeous and having this keycap set was a perfect complement to this keyboard so that's why I chose it. So let's pull out some key switches and you can see what switches I'm using. The whole keyboard uses the same switches because I have no money to buy like different kinds of switches. It is Gateron Browns. I think I said it in one video. Uh, Gateron Browns are my switch of choice. I love these Gateron Browns, but they're getting a bit old. They're getting a bit stiff. Um, my plan is to maybe loop them up in the future, maybe to add some smoothness, maybe change up the springs for like a Zelos spring or something if possible. Uh, I think Zelos is also made by Gateron, so hopefully it's compatible with this. I'm not too sure. I have to check more on that, but I want to change the springs out. I want to lube it so it becomes even smoother, even nicer to type on because it it's a bit old and maybe the lube inside that it came with was drying out the lubrication was is, is not working as well so it, it's a bit stiff sometimes but it, it's still very light still very smooth and it's something that i enjoy so here's i have a lot of typing tests of this already you can check it out in my last video asmr keyboard cleaning but it sounds really really nice and i think uh, with the keycap the pvt keycaps by the way good material it, it just it just works beautifully together to give this typing experience that is truly enjoyable and this game experience that's really really enjoyable it's light it's still quite tactile it's fast and it just feels really refined i think that's a good way to put it, it it's got this refinement and touch of uh, class to it that uh, a lot of keyboards don't have so to me that's what i like so much about it so there you go Okay, so uh, giving you a physical tour of the keyboard, we have basically the case right here. So this is the case of that keyboard, of the keyboard. So right behind here is this piece of fiberglass. So this piece of fiberglass is interesting. So this piece of fiberglass basically uh, refracts and you know dissipates. I don't know if dissipate is the right word, but it basically takes the light from the LEDs mounted on the bottom of the PCB around here and essentially reflects it so that it shines out to the side and the top and it looks really cool. It's called an underglow effect and uh, it's a feature of some you know mechanical keyboard PCBs 
This one has a Nagalo. Your keyboard might not have a Nagalo, but this one looks great. Especially if you're typing or gaming in the dark, it looks phenomenal. I know some people are not a fan of RGB LEDs, but I am sometimes especially when you know they aren't shouty loud colors so this to me is great so uh case as well is also a beautiful part of this keyboard it is a anodized aluminium shell chassis and it's got this stripped down sort of floating keycap kind of look which i think looks perfect with the clear housing get around browns that have rgb leds in them so yeah it looks perfect and it's got this kind of apple-esque a clean aesthetic if Apple did you know mechanical keyboards for hobbyists I think it will look something like this gray with aluminium and while it looks phenomenal it doesn't scream out at you like a pink or pink and blue kind of keyboard that is really popular nothing nothing bad against those those look great but I want a desk ornament that also looks kind of functional and kind of classy and it fits my setup great which is you know wood and white and blacks uh, colors in general so this fits in perfectly it doesn't stick out like a sultan which is also why i love wilbur so much so the pcb in here i don't think they really have any more it was more like a clearance thing it's something called the i think the rgb60 satan it's not a very good pcb but the reason i wanted it was because it was um it was cheap it does rgb not very well but decently it has is a 60% poker style of course and uh, it has a mini usb connector up there which i hope to replace when i get a new soldering iron so that i can get a better more consistent connection but it's got rgb it's got underglow and it supports everything and it works properly and it's compatible with this case so that's that's the reason i got it there's nothing special about it in fact i recommend other you know pcbs like the gh60 at the bare bare minimum go with the gh60 now so that is the whole showcase of this keyboard um I really did the typing test in my last video so if you want to hear the typing sounds of it do check it out but it's all very very nice I plan I do plan actually to one day you know upgrade the switches and when that happens uh, make sure you subscribe because that video is gonna happen maybe in one or two weeks so when you are so make sure you subscribe if you want to see the upgrade of the switches in here it's gonna be a little guide and everything it's gonna be a fun fun little video for you to check out uh, but till then, I'm just going to be enjoying this keyboard as is because Wilbur has served me for two years and I really, really love this keyboard. Do I recommend you build your own keyboard? Absolutely. It's, it's not super cheap, but it's also not super expensive and you have something unique that usually, you know, nobody else has, especially if you have a weird configuration like mine. Mine is truly... A, a unique con config I don't I've never seen a picture of a keyboard like mine I have never seen anyone else on reddit have this particular setup now now that I made this video maybe someone will but for now this is mine this is probably the only one in the world like this and I'm very happy with it it's a bit broken and it's a bit of a fixer upper now but it's still my favorite keyboard it's my daily driver and uh, I hope this video was uh, satisfactory enough for you for that two or three people that ask for a specific video on this keyboard anyway thanks for watching anyway thanks for watching uh, I hope this was enjoyable you know this little sharing session hope you had fun if you did like subscribe comment I reply to every single comment share the video if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ZX Tech all linked down below if you want to as well uh, and I'll see you in the next one peace